Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got to figure out our motor mount. So, like I said in previous videos, these stock Toyota isolators are really not enough to dampen the diesel vibrations. Um, so we're going to be redoing that completely. I got a set of these GM hydraulic motor mounts. So these should be pretty simple to uh, fab up. They're just a stud on top and bottom. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is pull this motor out. I got to cut the mounts off the frame here. And I'm actually going to do one side at a time. So I'm going to pull the motor, cut this mount off the frame, put the motor back in, get this mount situated while that side is bolted on. So I know that the motor is going to stay in the same spot. And then I took a bunch of measurements on height. So... I just, this, this motor has to stay in the same spot. It's very, very tight to the hood. Um, and then also when that steering is all on, it's, it's pretty close to the pan. So it's got to stay in the same spot. So that's why I'm going to take the extra precaution and just do one side at a time while the other side's still bolted on. So let's get this motor out. We'll cut this side off, get this side figured out, and then we'll tackle the other side. Right, guys got that whole mount off got everything cleaned up ready to go so I think what I'm gonna try to do is use this black back plate that's already bolted on the block I'll cut these sides off since that's already you know formed I don't really have a good way to bend steel so I think the best the best way would be to just cut that off use that and then basically remake this part but that's way too high, so I need to redo it anyway. So I think that's the plan. I'm going to cut that off, get the motor back in, and kind of see where everything lines up. And I'll make sides for this and then a plate for the bottom for that mount to bolt onto. Alright guys, this is what I got going so far. So I got that top plate, got the mount bolted on, and then got a bottom plate on there. So now, I'm going to pull this mount off and gusset this. So I'm going to pull this off, get that gusset made up, get that all tacked together. And then, I need to drop the weight of the motor on that mount and see how much that mount will compress. Because um, if I... If I weld everything in now, and that say that mount compresses like a quarter inch, the motor is going to be dropping down quite a bit, which I don't want. So that is the game plan.
All right, guys, motor is sitting in on its own weight on these mounts. So all the frame mounts are just tacked on for now. I still got to pull the motor out and fully weld those in. So that's how that, that's how that mount looks. And this one, a little more hard to see up in here. So there it is. So I should pull that motor back out one last time, weld this mount fully, and then fully weld in the, uh, the frame mounts. And I actually set this motor like about an eighth inch high, because I assume those mounts are gonna settle in a little bit over time. So I hope they don't settle any more than that. Um, but it's just a guess. So if uh, worst comes to worst, I can always shim up a little bit and get that motor back up if it does settle more than that so yeah let's get this motor back pulled out we'll fully weld in these mounts and we will be done Right, guys here's a little better look at these mounts these things are pretty freaking beefy all oh, quarter inch so welded on both sides definitely aren't going anywhere with this light little motor so pretty stoked so i just got to get those powder coated and we'll be done with that and the last thing we got to do to button this up is remake the little supports off my shock hoop so i got some uh one inch round tube I'm going to cut some up, weld them in there, and we can throw some paint on this frame and uh, be done with it. All right guys, there's the finished product. She's all painted up, ready to go. All right guys, that wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Next couple videos are gonna be pretty exciting. Got more powder coating to do. We gotta prep this whole engine bay for paint. And I got some cool plans with the paint on it. Um, so stay tuned for that if you are interested in seeing that. Let me know what you guys think about these mounts. I think it turned out pretty sweet. Hopefully those hydraulic mounts will quieten this thing down and uh, cure the vibrations. It really should. Uh, the oil filled mounts are more of designed for diesels and the, and the higher vibrations. So should help out quite a bit. I'll have those linked down in the description if you want to check them out. So I'm excited to try those things out. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.